All right, so I wanna talk about editing slow motion footage in Final Cut Pro. Um, editing slow motion footage can vary depending on what type of camera you use. I use a Sony a6300 and a Panasonic GH5. While a GH5 is a lot simpler to import and a lot simpler to edit, I wanna talk about the differences in shooting just with those specific two cameras. I also wanna talk about various different things you can do with slow motion footage, as speeding up or slowing it down, um, you can have the footage go at normal speed and then slow down and go into slow motion to give it that cinematic effect. Um, while shooting slow motion footage can be very, it's very popular. If you're doing uh, videography for clients, um, you'll get a lot of people who ask for slow motion footage. And it's very simple, but if you don't do it the correct way, it, the footage can come out looking pretty bad. So today I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so like I said, um, I like to shoot on two different cameras, um, the Sony a6300 and the Panasonic GH5. Um, one thing to keep in mind before we start about editing slow motion footage, the most important thing when, when it comes to editing slow motion footage is that the footage was shot correctly. Um, so for this first clip that I'm gonna edit off the Sony a6300, um, I shot this clip at 60 frames per second 120 shutter speed um, and I did that because you know the higher you have the frames per second the smoother the footage is and the more you are able to slow down the footage and the shutter speed was 120 because you always keep the shutter speed double whatever the frame rate is so I'm gonna select this clip from the Sony a63 um, select the point the end point where I want the clip to begin so begin there I have it in right here out and go ahead drag it to the timeline um, when I drag it to the timeline it's gonna ask me how do I want to import the footage go ahead and just keep everything as it is because it knows Final Cut Pro knows how you shot it um, so 60 frames per second like I said it's an 80p HD because I shot it uh, at 60 frames per second that's the most a Sony can do um, and 1920 1080 resolution just press OK so you press OK and you press play you see the footage is moving fast. It's smooth, but it's moving way too fast. So the first thing I'm gonna do is highlight the clip, go over here to the speedometer under the viewfinder, um, go to select the slow option, and go down to, let's, let's just start with 50%. So you go to 50%, you press play, and you can see how the footage is very smooth. Um, you can see the, the, the water, how it's coming out. The spout is very smooth. The water here on the left is very smooth. Um, and that's just at 50%. So I can take it down even further because I shot it at 60 frames per second. Um, take it to 25%. Go ahead and let that render. So once that's done rendering, go ahead and press play. Um, and you can see even at 25%, the footage is still very smooth. Um, the movement is, is very well. You can see the water that's coming out here. It's very smooth. Um, the water over here is coming out the spout is still very smooth. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't take it any further than 25% because, I mean, you know, there's not really much more you need after that. All right, so now I'm done with the footage from the Sony and I want to work with the footage from the GH5. So I select the clip on the GH5, select the clip on the GH5 and select an in and an out point. So let's say I want the footage to begin right here. Press I and then press O for right here. Go ahead and drag it to the timeline. Um, and let that render. All right, so once that's rendered, you press play, and you'll see that the footage from the GH5 is automatically um, at 50%, which is how you want it. Um, the GH5 shoots differently, it has a variable frame rate. You see the water coming out here on the left side. Um, it's very, very smooth compared to the Sony. Um, and also, I just feel that the GH5 is a better camera than the Sony. All right, so let's say that you want the footage, um, you don't want the footage to be necessarily slow motion the entire time. Let's say you want it to go from normal speed to slow motion, um, then to slow motion. So what you would simply do is press B for the blade, um, click where you want the footage to, uh, for where you want the slow motion footage to begin. So let's say I want it to begin um, right here, uh, blader right there, press the A, go back to the regular cursor, select this part of the clip, since I want this part to be normal and I want this part to be slow motion, highlight this part, go back to the speedometer and just press normal, 100 speed. Um, and press play, you'll see it goes from normal speed and then once it hits right there, it's slow motion. 
Say you want to be a little more subtle and you don't want it to go from 100% down to 25% that fast. Simply just make another cut right here. Press A for the regular cursor. Highlight this part. Go back to the speedometer. And instead, this last part is 25%. So I'm going to make this part that's highlighted, I'm going to make it 50%. So I'll go back to the, to the top. Press play. And you see it goes from normal down to 50%. It slows down a little bit. And then it goes down to 25 and it slows down a lot more. Um, simple, very effective. Um, but like I said, the most important thing when it comes to editing slow motion footage is making sure that it was shot correctly. All right, everybody, that's it. How to edit slow motion footage in Final Cut Pro. Um, like I said, it's simple. Um, it's very popular if you're into videography. Um, and it's very useful. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment whatever video you want to see, whatever tutorial you want to see next.